Hello everyone and welcome back. In our today's video we will discuss project dashboards in Microsoft Excel. A project management dashboard is a data driven platform that displays metrics, stats and insights that are specific to a particular project or strategy by presenting a tailored mix of KPIs in one central location in order to benefit the project's performance. So the main goal of a project dashboard is to represent the data at one location to the project audience. So as you can see here in this Microsoft Excel file, this dashboard represents a program consisting of three different projects with the full details of the project given here. Activity ID, activity name, start date, end date, duration, cost of each activity, the incurred costs to date, resource names and percentage complete besides the, the name of the project manager, the project name itself, its start date, uh, funded by who is the project sponsor and the total budget of the project. Same goes for project CDF and project XCV. The details are given. So as you can see, different projects have different percentage completed and have different uh, incurred costs till date. And each project has a different amount of project budget. So in order to see all of this information as a single page, we use the project dashboards. I have created this dashboard out of these projects without using pivot tables or pivot charts. I will create a different video for creating project dashboards using pivot tables and pivot charts. In this specific video, I will teach you how to create project dashboards without using pivot tables or pivot charts in Microsoft Excel. Remember that software like MS Project and Primavera are specifically designed for project management. And they can create such dashboards easier than you do it in Microsoft Excel. So for you to learn how this dashboard is created, let's go step by step and create each of these diagrams. To see how it is created. Let's get started. First of all, let's add a new sheet. Let's give this sheet a name. We will call it Calculations. Another sheet, we will call it the New Dashboard. So we will carry out calculations in this sheet and the dashboards will be created in the new dashboard sheet. The first chart that you see here is the percentage completed of all the projects. So let's write down project name and in here we will write down the percentage completed. Let's go and see project name. Our first project is project ABC. In order for the diagrams and the calculations to stay dynamic, we will use formulas. For example, I will equal this cell with the name of project number one here. I will equal this cell with the name of our project number two or project CDF. I will equal the third cell with this project's name. Moreover, I will come to percentage completed. I will turn the cells to percentage because the percentage completed in other projects is given in percentage, so this will be in percentage as well. So now that I have hidden other sheet names, it is easier for us to see and we go less forth and back. Uh, ABC percentage complete equals to project ABC, the total percentage completed given here. For the next project, for CDF, percentage complete is this cell. For XCV project, the percentage completed is this cell. Now I will go to the sheet new dashboard. I will create a chart, insert, column, 2D bars. I'll select the data here. Select data. So I will add the Y values from here. I will pick them from calculations sheet. 
Ok. And I will add the x values from here. It is this. This range should be from here up to here. Ok. Ok. So, we want to format this chart. We will delete this name. We will delete this, these lines. For example, let's delete this axis and let's add data labels. In layout, we will go to data labels outside. We'll go to data labels outside end. And as you can see, the data labels are given. You can further format this as well. For example, you can change the colors. This color should be, for example, a bit more blue. And this one, for example, should be bluer than the other one. Next is in the program dashboard. You, you see we have the project share in the program. One project is 43%, 33%, and 24%. We'll come to calculations. We'll again create another table, project name, and then project budget. So the name will equal to this, and let's drag it down up to here. The project budget, this one will equal to the project budget in here. The other one will equal to the project budget in here. The next one, the project budget will equal to project XCV. The project budget will be 4,000. Let's select all of this, insert, create a pie chart. Here you go. We can further modify this, for example. Let's delete this. Let's give it colors same as colors given in this, in this program dashboard. So if you want the slices of the pie to be a bit separated, come to form a data series. For example, let's make this like mm, four person close. That will suffice. And let's add the data labels. Let's go to layout. Let's go to data labels outside end. So the data labels here, the costs are given. And here, as you can see, it's in term of percentage. We can make it percentage here as well. Click here. Click on the data, right click, format data labels, and in here show percentage, don't show the value, show the leader lines, okay, let them be there. So, we can copy it from here and paste it in our new dashboard. You can add the chart title, for example, if you want, go to the layout and Let's click on chart title above chart, whatever you want to write there. Let's create a diagram for the project budget. Again, the same, uh, the same, the same, the same table could be used. First of all, let's change this to, to currency. So, and let's decrease these decimals. Uh, that would do it. Let's select this, insert columns. Again, let's copy this. Let's take it to our new dashboard. Let's zoom out our dashboard a bit. Next thing is the project cash flow diagram. How is this created? In order to create this, let me remove these because I won't need them. I already have them on my dashboard page. In order to create a cash flow diagram like this, we will require the date, cost, and cumulative cost. In here, as you can see, two types of costs are given. Costs, which were planned, and actually incurred costs. In our dashboard, in order for the video to be short, I will only do the planned cost, and you can do the actual cost by the same method. For the dates, we will write down here. We will equal this cell to the date, the start date here. And then we will drag it down up to five cells because the list of activities in here is five. 
If we go any further, because those cells are empty, they will be given as the earliest date that Excel can give. For the next one, we will equal this to this one and drag it down by five cells. And let's go to our last project, project XCV. Equal that cell to this one and drag it down by five cells. Same will go for costs. We will equal this to this one. We'll pull it down. Same will be done for project CDF. So I will do this by myself and we'll come back to you. We will take our horizontal axis only the start date of our activities and we didn't take the end date. That might be a question to you. You know, there are uh, different types of accruals and paying the costs for each activity. One is like the start, one is at the end, and one is throughout the activity. For example, for some activities you might pay the price at the beginning of the activity. For some of them you might pay the price at the end of the activity. And for some of them you might pay the price throughout the activity. There are different types of accruals in project management. Before we get to the formula, you know, cumulative cost is, for example, if I'm going to calculate the cumulative cost for this one, it will be the cost of this cell plus the cost of all the cells before this cell. So this will be the logic that we will be using behind the formula for cumulative cost. It will equal to sum of, from this cell up to the same cell. The only difference is that our first cell should not move. In order to achieve that, we should lock both the cell, both the column and the row of that. Let's close the bracket here and press enter. For the next one, it should be 1900. For the next one, 400 will be added, which will be 2300. And 200 will be added, it will be 2500, and so on. So here, this one is given. So in order to plot the cash flow diagram for this, let's select this, the whole area. Go to insert, go to lines, let's insert this line. So at the first, it looks like this. What we have to do is, let's change the cost to columns. Right click, change series chart type, we will click the column, click OK. In here, you might have noticed that the columns are way taller than the columns here. The reason for that is, in here we have the secondary axis, but in here we have only the primary axis. Let's add the secondary axis as well. Let's click this, right click, form a data series, and let's plot them on secondary axis. There you go. For this axis, as you can see, the dates are given. Each date is like one month. If you want to decrease it, format the axis. And let's the minor and major values like to days like, let's make it like five days. That would work. Let's close it. So the difference between each uh, period will be five days. So. Here is, here is your cash flow diagram. You can further format it. For example, you can remove this, these lines. You can add data labels by clicking and go to layout and uh, go to data labels outside end and so on. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Copy it from here and take it to the new dashboard here. In terms of size, you, if you wanted to edit the sizes of all of these, for example, we want all these three sizes to be the same, click on them, go to format, as you can see the size will appear here. For example, this should be 4 inches and 2, 4 inches. Same I want for this one, click on the outside border, this, this should be 4 inches and 2, 4 inches as well. So this can help you in order for your data to 
look more tidy and more clean and neat. So you can use that. For example, if, as you can see, the size is sort of the same. Next thing in here is the resource histogram. We have a different video. I will leave the link to that video in the description of this video, which you can use to uh, learn how histodiagrams are created in Microsoft Excel. For your information, let's unhide the other cells. Let's unhide the resource histogram here. And let's see. As you can see in the resource histogram, the name of the resources is given, and the dates, the timeline of the project is given, the number of hours each resource will work on that specific day is given, and as a result of that, this diagram was created, which was modified to this diagram in the resource histogram in our final product. So let's arrange this a bit. I will copy the resource histogram from here, paste it in here, and let's Let's decrease this one's height to 3 as well. So all of these match each other. Let's remove this to the bottom. And yeah, I think this will do it. I hope you like the contents in this video. If you did so, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you very much for watching.